Okay, so tell us a little bit about like, where does leadership in business and entrepreneurship show up? And what are maybe some of the pitfalls and the things that you end up seeing when you go, oh yeah, it's maybe time for me to up-level my leadership now. Yeah, yeah, I think I think if I, if I go maybe a few decades back, leadership was a lot about intensity, about getting things done, about mm-hmm. commanding people or controlling people. Uh, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, like as leaders, you are supposed to get results which are not going to happen on your own. Right, so that's uh, that's what a leader does, whether in their personal life or in their business. Uh, but now, in the last few decades, there is a lot of focus on caring for people, taking people along, loving people, right? And I still see that people see them as uh, opposites of each other. Something which, like, if I increase the love, then I have to let go of the intensity. But if mm. I increase my intensity, then somehow the love or the caring suffers. What I try to do is basically say that these two are not like uh, in uh, in opposition of each other but actually if you can do both together they work well so well that uh, sometimes uh, an expression of love could be making a tough statement or being radically like, honest with uh, whom you're talking to uh, and uh, the foundational principles of you know, like behind all human beings is that we all want to be taken care of we all want to belong but at the same time we all want to contribute we all want to grow so if a leader can lead with love and intensity at the same time, it is actually not two different things. You can start from two different places, but when they intersect, uh, at that stage, you can become a very powerful leader where people are following you, not just because of the title or the salary, but because of what you're doing. And then because of the intensity that you provide, you and your team are producing results which have never been possible before. That's an interesting concept to look at, leading with love and intensity. Would you maybe explain or share a story of what that looks like or how somebody has utilized love and intensity to kind of move their team forward? Absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, uh, when people say use the word intensity or being direct or being candid, it often seems like I am, either I am being arrogant or I am being uh, uh, not caring. Mm-hmm. or not kind uh, and that somehow takes away from the love right but if you can frame a conversation starting with the context that we are here together we are here together for this purpose you're part of this team and i see you as a champion if you can bring that love but then add the meaning part of it right because nobody is here just to feel good right and nobody works in business just to feel good although you have to provide that safe space even just providing that and nothing else is not leadership Right, then it, maybe it becomes a, a very comfortable environment. Uh, but if you can combine that with, like, I see this possible for you, even when you're dealing with the mistakes, even when you're dealing with an underperformance, you can take it as intensity without respecting the other person. You can see it, that this is wrong and we need to fix this. Or you can say that you are a champion. We hired you because of this. Now, there are certain things which uh, we expect from you. And I know that you are capable of this. So let's figure out what is missing. Let's figure out how can both of us uh, help you get where you want to, right? And then giving people a choice because uh, love is also about autonomy. Giving people a choice to say that I have very high standards for you. I see you are a champion. I am ready to support you. I am going to like jump uh, and work with you, slog with you, everything. But you have the choice to say yes and no. And if it is a no, then that's perfectly fine. So that's how how it looks, right? So you never leave the person alone. You never point a finger. You always create a space and carry them along with you with love, but at the same time showing them that there is so much more that they can do uh, and then giving them that support, giving them that space or or that uh, support network that even if you fall, that's perfectly fine. Let's get back up and get on the stage. Yeah, 